Subhanallah, the scholarly speech by our local Hadrat Alama Qadi Abdul Majeez Abdul Naqshbandi. Subhanallah, us the baat e kuch kuch piche rehayi nahi. Hafiz Mudassir Sahab, ah, Mashallah. Us the baat e kuch matlab piche rehayi nahi. But I just want to say two or three things in the middle of the night. I'm not going to try to do any scholarly speech because you've heard much of this. I would only request one thing. Okay, the brothers stop moving around. Because okay, if somebody, if a, if a speaker speaks, everyone's attention should be on what he says. But I don't want your mind. What I need is your heart. I need everybody's heart focused on what I will tell you. First of all, let me just give Mubarak to my younger brother, Khalifa Majaz, Hazrat Sufi, Sayyid Bahisha Saad, and Nachbandi Mujadid Yaslami, Damud Barakat Ham Aliya, Wal Qudsiya, who is doing great work of being in Bristol. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase the work of deen for them. Also, give Mubarak all of the doors, alhamdulillah, and especially in the masjid committee, subhanallah, kya, kya nazar hai? It looks like you sit, you're sitting in Medina Shalit. So Mubarak to the masjid committee, Shri brother Abdul Malik, mashallah. My school friend from many years ago, mashallah, we spent many of our school days together. And it's good to see Alhamdulillah that he's part of the masjid also. You know, I'm just going to tell you one thing first. About this kundi. I have never kundi ni uthai. I've never held a walking stick, but it be fakir, but it all kundi or tamden. Asalich, is this koi burai nii hai? Vaisay ta sada haq hai, kyunki aap asi ahle sada ta. And this is a sunnah of Rasul Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sunnah to be here, thik hai? But I will tell you about this kundi mubarak. On my way to Bristol, just turn the phone off. On my way to Bristol, me and a couple of my brothers from Bradford, we were coming down to Bristol, but we stopped in Oldham. I have this close friend, mashallah, Obi Sangir Sada, Uste Karaj, in his house. He has many tabarakah, including 
تو موہی مبارک اور سیدنا رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ایک نہیں بیش مان موہی مبارک داری مبارک تو سبحان اللہ ظلف مبارک اور میں ایسے ظلف مبارک پر موہی مبارک نے زیارت کی تیئے جو اتنی لمبی ہے سبحان اللہ اسی زیارت کر کے آئے ہیں کیونکہ ملاد ملاد مقصد ہے کہ ملاد مقصد ہے یہ کہ سادھے دلچ عشق رسول پیدا ہو تا وی بیو دا عشق رسول ان آر ہارٹس اور دا ایمان اور ایمان ان آر ہارٹس کے سٹرونگر وین آئی وز دیر دا سنگی برادر ہی سیٹ تو می کہ مینی پیپل کم تو می ہاؤس اور دے دو دے دو دا زیارت آف دا موہی مبارک And then they do a dua. His family, I want everybody's attention, his family, there was a young girl, Fag, subhanallah. She came to his room where all of the tabarakats are. And many people come to that room and they do the ziyarat of the muyubarat. And guess what? They have the ziyarat of Rasulullah. This is how powerful, subhanallah, the tabarakats are. In that room, subhanallah, he says that this young girl, she came, she did the dua, she did the ziyara of all of the tabarakah, munwar. And then she saw a vision. She saw a vision. In this vision, she saw Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam holding this book, holding this kundi mabar. This kundi was in the room. Jiri mein koi cheez hove, jo mui mubarak dana lag jai, ek tafa bas lag jai. Us, us cheez vi, us mui mubarak dana nisput ho jang di. O cheez vi, mui mubarak dana nisput ho jang di hai. Te fhe judu nisput ho jai, o cheez vi mubarak ho jang di. This kundi mubarak. Was the kundi that that girl saw Sayyidina Rasulullah Sallam was holding this kundi mubarak in their hands, and when they were holding this kundi mubarak, they said to all of her family, "I want all your family to come and hold this kundi mubarak." So I brought this kundi today to this Jishn Eid Milad Nabi. A peligal, a peligal scene. Ugly, ugly girl. A few weeks ago, Alhamdulillah. I had the tawfiq to go to Umrah. Take me to Umrah to Gilas. Jump off the bed. Shah Sahab no patay, Alhamdulillah. Vaisi me kisi do dasya ni si me vaisi Alhamdulillah Umrah to chala gaya. Because Allah invites, the Rasul awaits, the blessing of the Ashik, the entrance he makes. So I went to Umrah Sharif and I spent many days in Makkah and many days in Madinah, in Madinah Sharif. Subhanallah. While I was in Medina, I want everyone to a joke. While I was in Medina, many people go to Medina Sharif and they sit there at the Rosai Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Rosa Mubarak, the blessed chambers, and they read the Quran Sharif, they read Durood Sharif. Many people try to get as close as possible to the Rosa Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yeah, everybody wants to be close. Every single after every single namaz. I would read the Salat and I would go to give Salaam to Imam Al-Anbiya. Habib Rabbil Alameen. Subhanallah. Every, after every namaz. As-salamu alayka ya Sayyid al-Mursaleen. As-salamu alayka ya Hadra Sayyidina Abu Bakr al-Sadiq. As-salamu alayka ya Hadra Sayyidina Umar al-Faroo. I would give Salaam and I would come back and I would sit there reading the Buzifa and reading our Dalila Khirat Shri. I was reflecting while I was sitting there. I was thinking and reflecting upon myself. And I was reflecting upon this ayat of the Holy Quran. A verse of the Holy Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, An-Nabiyyu awla bin mu'mineena min kufusihim. That the Nabi, the Prophet, is closer to the believers than their own souls. Nabi, Rasulullah is closer to the believers than your own selves. 
Ibn Qayyim al-Jawziyyah says that the Prophet of Allah has got more right over you than you have over yourself. Nabi Ibad has got more right over you than you have over yourself. I spent many days and nights with a great shaykh there and they taught me one thing. They taught me many things but this is one of the things I can't disclose all the other things. They said to me, millions of people, millions of people come to Medina Bark. Millions of people, they come to Masjid Nabi. Millions of people, old and young, and you know, every color, every creed, Muslim. Millions of people, they come. They come to the Rosa Rasul Salasim. Everybody wants to become close to the Jalia Mubarak. They want to be close to the Rosa Rasul Sallallahu The great Sheikh said to me, my friend, millions of people, they come to Masjid Nabi. But many of these million people, their hearts are a million miles away. Their hearts are a million miles away. Then there are those people who sit a million miles away, but their hearts are this close to Sayyidina Rasulullah. They sit a million miles away, but their hearts are like this with Sayyidina Rasulullah. The great Sheikh said to me, a person comes to Masjid Nabi, tries to get close. No, he says, your heart has to be close to Muhammad and Mustafa. So the question remains, my brothers, is If the Prophet is closer to you than your own soul, then how close are you to the Prophet of Allah? How close are you to the Prophet of Allah? One day, this person said to me, you praise the Prophet too much. Many years ago, this person said to me, you praise the Prophet too much. I said to this person, no, you're wrong. We don't praise the Prophet enough. We don't praise the Prophet enough. Who are we to praise the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu When Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has praised the Prophet of Allah. When Allah has praised them. And Allah Sallallahu Alaihi has praised His Habib many many times in the Holy Quran. In one of the verses, Rabbuka Maqam Mahmuda. That your Lord has raised you on a praise station. Subhanallah. And according to the hadith, when Sayyidina Rasulullah says that on the day, on the day of reckoning, on the day of Qiyamah, when all of the people will come and they will be making dua to Allah, Ya Allah, start the day of reckoning. Start the day of reckoning. Sayyidina Rasulullah will say, said that I will go down in sujood in sajda, asking Allah to interceding for my ummah. And they would go down and sujood in sajda. And Sayyidina Rasulullah said, When I go down in sajda, Allah will inspire me. And my Lord will say to me, O oh, Mahbub, raise your head. When I raise my head, Allah will inspire me to say such praises that have never been said before. Such praises, such words that have never been spoken before. And Sayyidina Rasulullah would praise his Lord, praise Allah SWT. But guess what? In the Ahadith. Many awliya kamalin have written on this and they said not only this Sayyidina Rasulullah would praise Allah but guess what all of the assemblies of people they will praise the one who is praising Allah All of the assemblies of all of the people of the dunya they will stop to praise the one who is praising Allah and then, did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not say in Surah Alam Nishra, like the brother recited, Alam Nishra laka sadara, and in the verse, Warafa'na laka zikr. Warafa'na laka zikr. We have elevated your zikr. 
in the hadith and also in kitab shifa they say that subhanallah Jibreel al-Islam came down and revealed this surah to Sayyidina Rasulullah and when this when this verse warafa'na laka dhikr came up Jibreel al-Islam asked the Prophet of Allah Ya Sayyidi Ya Sayyidi, Ya Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, do you know how Allah has raised, elevated your zikr? The Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Jibri, why don't you tell me? Jibri, why don't you tell me? Jibri Al-Islam says, Ya Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah has elevated your zikr to such an extent, to such a degree, that whenever Allah's name will be mentioned, your name will be, men will be mentioned alongside. Allah. Whenever Allah's zikr will be done, your zikr will be done alongside. Allah. Whether this be in, in the azan, whether this be in shahada, whether this be in salah, every single time you do zikr e khuda, zikr e khuda is zikr e Subhanallah. And then did Allah not say again the Holy Quran? In Surah Al Qalam. That we, that you are elevated. You're, you are of a high elevated status of character. You are the best of character. You are the best of creation. You are the best in manners. You are the best in akhlaq. You are the best in you are the best in all of the body form of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you are the best looking. We have elevated the status of your character. Subhanallah. And did not the Prophet of Allah say that I have been sent to perfect good manners? I have been sent to perfect good akhlaq. Subhanallah. And then again, did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not say? Like Qari Sahib recited in Surah, Surah Al-Tawbah, لَأَكَدْ جَعَاكُمْ رَسُولٌ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ عَزِيزٌ عَلَيْهِمْ آمِتْتُمْ حَرِيسٌ عَلَيْكُمْ بِالْمُؤْمِنِينَ رَعُوْفُ وَرَحِيمٌ رَعُوْفُ وَرَحِيمٌ Never, never has Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala joined two, two of his names and attributed these names to any other Nabi except for Muhammad and Mustafa. That you are Rauf and Rahim. You are most kind and you are merciful. This is the mercy of Allah. This is the beauty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the love of Allah giving his own attributes to his Habib. That you are most kind, you are merciful. And the translation of that verse was, that now has come to you. Now has come to you a messenger from amongst yourselves and it grieves him to know that you shall perish. Anxious is he over you, concerned is he over you. And to the believers he is most kind and merciful. Did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not say in the Holy Quran many many times about praising his Habib? And then in another verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Anbiya وَمَا أَرْسُنَّكَ إِلَىٰ رَحْمَةِ الْعَالَمِينَ That we have not sent you except as a mercy to all of mankind. Aren't these the praises? Simply the name Muhammad means the praise was. And you ask us, you ask us that why you praise the Prophet of Allah too much? Ya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praises his Habib. The awliya kamaleen praise the Habib. All of the awliya kamaleen, the ulama kamaleen, all of them praise Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa in their books. And they're asking us, when we say the name Muhammad Mustafa, it puts a smile on our face. This is muhabbat. This is muhabbat. This is true muhabbat al Rasul. When we say the name Muhammad Mustafa, it brings this jar into our hearts. It puts this flame of Ishki, Allah Ishki Rasul in our hearts. 
And this is what we should be doing, the whole mission. Our whole mission should be that we live our lives according to the life and the sunnah and the sharia of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We should have love bait engraved upon our hearts. And how should our hearts be when I said that turn your hearts towards me? Let me tell you, subhanallah, Imam al sunnah Imam al sunnah Mujaddad Deen Minna. Shammai Parwane Rasan. Imam Ishq Muhabbat. Ala Hadra. Imam Ahmad Razahan Fazle Barelvi. Rahmatullah Dalalay said, The Ishq Mustafa. Ishq Mustafa should be so much that if you, were, if you were to rip out my heart and cut my heart in open, on one side you will see La ilaha illallah, the other Muhammad Rasulullah. This is who is in the Bring the zikr Mustafa into your home. Then you will see how the sukoon develops in your house. Bring guru the salam into your home. And then you see how your ruh gets that tazgi. Bring just the Eid Malad and Nabi into your homes, and then you see how Ishq Mustafa develops in your heart. <laughs> and then they say that we have no sukoon in our lives. Bring Ishq Mustafa, just the Eid Malad and Mustafa into your homes. I'll give you two last hadith, hadith which are Sahih hadith. Recorded in many books by the great scholars of Deen. Subhanallah, this is recorded by Imam Ahmed in his Muslim Sharif. Narrated by Hadrat Sayyidina Al Bara ibn Azim. Radid al Anhu who narrates, and this hadith, Sayyidina Rasulullah mentioned all of you in this hadith. So I'm sharing this hadith with you. This hadith. The Messenger of Allah, Habib Rabbil Alameen, Sayyid Al Mursaleen, Hatam Al Nabiheen, Jadd Al Hassan Al Hussein, Muhammad Al Mustafa, Sadd Al Asal mentioned all of you in this hadith. And they narrate, the Sahabi Al Rasul narrates that one day we were sitting with the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu and Sayyidina Rasul Allah Sallallahu said that I'm yearning. I'm yearning to be with my brothers. I'm yearning to be with my brothers. The Sahabi Rasul, they were sitting there with you. They said, Ya Rasulullah, we are Majood here with you. We are your brothers. And we are here with you. The Messenger of Allah said, No, you are my companions. You are my companions. My brothers are those who will come after me. And they, without seeing me, they will love me. But you companions, you have seen me. You have seen the revelations being revealed to me. But my brothers would, would, would be those who would come after me. They have not seen me, but they still love me. And because they love me, they will give every single thing they own. They will give their wealth. They will give their children. They will give all, everything they own, just to see one glimpse of me. They are my brothers. They are my brothers. And I'm yearning to be with my brothers. Dosto, you are khush kismat. That you are celebrating Jishni Eid Malada Mustafa. You are lover of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This hadith has been meant for you. We are the brothers of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Live your life according to the Messenger of Allah. How are you going to face? How are you going to face Sayyidina Rasulullah on that day? How are you going to face them on that day? They're calling you their brother. Allahu Akbar. They're calling you their brother, not companion. Brothers who love me. They love me. They will give every single thing they own just to see one glimpse of me. 
and then a further hadith. And this is for the Ashiks the Rasul, Khususi for the Naqshbandiya Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is for everyone. And then Sayyidina Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam turned to Hadra Sayyidina Abu Bakr As-Siddiq. And said to Abu Bakr As-Siddiq, Hey Abu Bakr, what do you think about those people that love you because they heard that you love me? SubhanAllah. Subhanallah. Said to Abu Bakr, hey Abu Bakr, what do you think about those people who love you because they heard that you love me? SubhanAllah. Hey Abu Bakr, you need to love them. Abu Bakr, love them and may Allah love them also. SubhanAllah. SubhanAllah. This is a hadith for the Ashiks of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Subhanallah. Look, look how much they care for us. Look how much they love us. Subhanallah. We can go all night in remembering Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and guess what? That still wouldn't do justice to the shan of Muhammad and Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Itna hi kafi hai. Itna hi kafi hai zindgi ke liye ke rakhne aaka apne nokri ke liye. Subhanallah. Eh nokri hai na? Eh nokri hai? Asi nokri kar dete ya. Apne jad bhi. For our great grandfather Sayyidina Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, asi nokara, is to ziyada asi kuch hai. And that's the best job of all. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala always keep us in muhabbat Allah, muhabbat Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Always keep us in the adab and idram of the awliya kamalin, the ulama kamalin. And Alhamdulillah, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala always keep us celebrating. The Jashn Eid Malad and Nabi tomorrow, as Shah Sab has told me, Jalus Jashn Eid Malad and Nabi, the Jalus we will see tomorrow after Zohar. Inshallah, Shah Sab will do the Ilan. We want all of the Ashiks to join the Jalus. Because Jalus we Hazur this Sunnah. Jalus we Hazur this Sunnah. You will not get reward sitting at home. Come out and raise the shine of Muhammad Mustafa.